G'day guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to um, use Cyberlink Power Director. This is version 11. I'm just going to go over and show you how to make and edit a short video. Um, right, so I've got it installed on my desktop here. We'll double click to start it up. Now there is version 12 out at the moment. Um, which I will show you. If you go to cyberlink.com products power director, there's power director 12 out at the moment. Um, it's already got five time winner of PC Magazine Editor's Choice for 2013, which I have no doubt it would have got because it is such a very easy and simple program to use. Once you've done a couple of videos, you know, it's just so easy to use, even for a dumbo like me. Rightio, so let's go back to this. Let's get back to the movie. Now, when you first open up PowerDirector, you're up with this screen here. All these videos here are sample videos. What I normally do is highlight all of those and remove them from the library. Now, what we're... what we have here is the main screen now over here on the right that's your sample screen where you can play the the video clips you've got added already now to add it to add a clip basically you click on file import media files and you navigate to where your video files are, which mine are in YouTube folder. Sorry, I'm going to go back. Mine are not in a YouTube folder. Mine are in uh, videos. So the one I want to put in there today to make this video with you guys is... Where are we? How to edit, how to play, how to play photos, this, play, play, here it is here. So you highlight on that, click open. Radio now, That's, there's the video file there. Down here is your timeline. So what you need to do is, say this is a video that you've recorded on your digital camera earlier today and saved it on your computer. What you do is you open it up like I've said, you click on it, hold down the left mouse button and drag it down till you get to the top here and you'll get a box that opens up like this. When you get it at the beginning here, you take your left mouse button off and that basically drops the video footage there into the timeline. This is where all your video is made. Right here. Now you can sample this video that you put in by clicking up here on the play button. In this video, I'm going to do a review on the pro. As you can see, it gives you a preview of the video. So I've already played and checked this video, and I know that it's fine. Now, if you want to trim the video, if you want to take sections out, the simplest way that I've found to do it is say there's a section in the video you want to remove. You play it up to that section, you play it up to the beginning of the part you want to move, remove, and we'll say that is 6.11. Now you write that number down, play it, called BB flashback express. pause it again. Now that is at the end of the section that you want to remove. Then you write the number down there, 10.19, whatever that number there is. Then what you do is you go over here and click on Trim. And up will come your Editing Trim box. At the top here, it gives you a length of the actual full-length movie that you've just added to your timeline. It's 3 minutes 8 seconds. Now, set mark in position and set mark out position. So to remove... The section you want to remove from here, you basically add in these numbers that you've written down from over here and add it here. And what that does is when you click on OK, it will. So 
right click OK, it will automatically cut out that section of your raw video down here. So when you've gone through and played your raw footage here and then removed any little clippage that you need to, then what I normally do at the end of my videos is I have a pre-made exit on my videos. So what I'll do is I'll go into desktop, YouTube, I call it the back end. You click on that and drag it over, drop it. Oops, sorry, no, you click on open. What am I saying? Right here, see, I've made this up in Photoshop. It's just a basic description of my channel on YouTube and a few particulars. So what I do is you click on that with your left mouse button, you drag that over to the timeline and drop it into the end until that little black line pops up and let go. And what that does is that adds the exit back end onto my video. Now that is a basic video very very basic there's so many so many other features you can add through here there's transitions there's this just so much you can do but I'm just going to show you the very very basics to start with just so you can you can create a very simple video from your raw footage you've you've made on your digital camera you can drop that in you don't have to put this back end part in just drop it in there and when you've done your your trimming or if you didn't have to do any trimming, that's fine. When you've dropped it in there and got it how you want it, you click on Produce up here. It takes you to this screen. Now, because I'm uploading this to YouTube, the best format that I've found it, found to use is H.264HVC. If you click on that, that is a very small compressed file, but very high quality. And it's I found it's the best format to use if you're uploading them to the internet. Okay, now down on the right hand side here, you click on this box here. Now you want to, this is where you're going to save the end product of your video. So I go into YouTube movies and this is where I save my YouTube movies. I'm going to call that BB BB edit. Click on save. So right now that's going to put the output folder for this project is going to save it into that folder for me. Now underneath that it gives you your hard drive space. What's free, what's used, remaining. And this gives it the same information but in um, in time. Like your available space in your hard drive but in the available time you have on your hard drive. Okay, right, then we go over here to the left. We don't have to change any of these details, but it's easier and quicker on your PC if you uncheck Enable Preview during production. Right, so then when you're ready to go, you basically click on Start. And now that is producing your movie and saving it into the folder that you've saved it into. Now this is version 11 of PowerDirector. Um, I haven't used version 12 yet. I'm going to download the trial version very soon and just go over it just to see what changes they've made. What I've heard, I think they've added a few new features but not a major, major change. So um, to save a few dollars, if you can still get PowerDirector 11 in the shops, I would, I would suggest you buy that because it's got so many features you'll never ever need any other program to do it with. Rightio, so what I'll do is I'll jump forward you know, so you don't have to sit here and watch this, this bar slowly go down and I'll get back to you in a moment so we can have a look at the final product. Rightio, we're back guys, we're just about ready to finish. Um, just one other thing I'll let you know too. Down here on the bottom left is a little checkbox to shut down computer after production. If you're doing this of an evening, click on that box, leave your laptop going, your PC going, go to bed, and it'll be all done, ready to go in the morning. Okay, so there we go. That's finished there now. So 
what you can either do now you can go back to edit page and what we'll do is we'll close that down you have not saved changes you've made to the current project do you want to save the changes now now right here if you've done the movie and you're finished click on no to not so you don't need to save the changes but if you haven't finished and you want to make another one or slightly change it click on yes and what it does it saves the project so when you open up power director next time you want to use it you click on file so you click on file open project and navigate to whatever you've named that project and it'll bring it back up exactly how it sits now so you can continue with that project okay rightio so we'll click on no and we'll open up the youtube folder we'll go into youtube movies and there it is there bb edit double click on that Guys, in this video, I'm going to the, and there you go. There's your final video. If we scan through to the end, you can't get better than that. Okay, like I said, please subscribe, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Please like all my videos, and I will talk. And there we go. That's the end I was telling you about that I add to the end of all my videos for YouTube. Um, it's just a, a short little one there I made on uh, Paint Shop. Rightio, so, uh, and this program that I'm using, if you're wondering, is called VLC Player. I have made a review on this software on my YouTube channel. Please go and watch that. Um, yeah, so that's it. Like I said, by far, Cyberlink Power Director is the best software out there for simple to use and reliability. And once you've done one or two movies, like I said before, even for a Dumbo like me, it's very easy to use. Okay then guys, thank you very much. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed, and uh, thank you very much. It helps me out heaps. Bye for now.